officially known as the Behringer Crater, this massive pit near Winslow, Arizona is one of the best preserved meteorite impact sites on Earth. The crater stretches 3,900 feet across its diameter and is over 500 feet deep. It's so wide that you could fit two Empire State buildings inside laid end to end with room to spare. The meteor crater, as it is more commonly known, was formed around 50,000 years ago during the Pleistocene Epoch when a meteorite around 150 feet wide struck the Earth at a speed of over 20,000 miles per hour. Much of the meteor was vaporized, but some fragments have been found, like this one, which can be found at the visitor center at the Meteor Crater Park, and this fragment located in a museum in Smith Hall at the University of Alabama. If a chunk of space rock less than 200 feet wide can create a hole this big, what would happen if a much larger object were to hit the planet? Every year, the Earth is bombarded with thousands of tons of space debris. While most of this matter consists of tiny chunks of rock that burn up in the atmosphere, larger pieces can sometimes make it all the way to the ground. If a big enough space rock hits the planet, it can unleash an explosive force with the power to literally change the world. For years, scientists speculated as to what could have caused the sudden extinction of the dinosaurs. In the 1970s, geophysicist Antonio Camargo discovered what was eventually determined to be a massive impact crater along the edge of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico near the town of Chicxulub. This crater is over 100 miles wide and is 12 miles deep, making it one of the largest impact craters in the world. The asteroid that pounded the Earth around 66 million years ago and created the Chicxulub crater was estimated to be about 6 miles wide. The energy released in the impact was millions of times more powerful than that of any nuclear bomb. The results were devastating for the planet. Earthquakes and tsunamis were triggered around the globe and the heat energy from the blast seared everything in its path. Mass extinctions followed in the asteroid's wake, forever changing life on Earth. The dinosaurs never saw it coming. And neither did Arne Hodges, the subject of our next segment. On November 30th, 1954, near the sleepy town of Silicoga, Alabama, Arne Hodges was sleeping on her couch when something smashed through her roof, bounced off a wooden radio and hit her in the side. She had just become the first and only ever confirmed case of a human being struck by a meteorite. The odds of this happening are astronomically small and have been compared to getting hit by lightning and struck by a tornado and a hurricane all at the same time. Soon it was confirmed that Ms. Hodges had been struck by a fragment of a common type of meteorite known as an ordinary crondite, cementing her extraordinary place in human history. There was a brief legal battle over ownership of the meteorite fragment since the Hodges were renting their home and the home's owners tried to claim it for herself. Ultimately, it was donated to the Alabama Museum of Natural History, housed in Smith Hall at the University of Alabama, where it can still be found today. So, while most meteors burn up in the sky or fall harmlessly into the sea, every now and then, one of them tries to kill us.